How's it going everybody? Today the video is going to be a little different. We've been having a lot of new subscribers lately. Thanks for subscribing. We're going to be reacting to our very first video on the channel, which is probably our best video on the channel. It's when we got the Mach 1, it was completely stock, and we had all the parts ready to be installed. So if y'all haven't seen that video, you're going to be watching with me today. Let's jump right into it. All of this was shot on a iPhone 7 and an iPhone 7 Plus. It's before we had the GoPro, everything was uploaded. <laughs> Mach 1 stock exhaust sounds really good. Going from EG Performance, and this is my 04 Competition Orange Mach 1. As the car sits right now, it has a few minor bolt-ons, but as you can see in front of me, I got a mountain of car parts ready to be installed. And minor bolt-ons, we think we had like an intake on the car and that was it. But as you can see, yeah, we did have a lot of parts. Had some, looks, headers, clutch, the cams. We had a lot of parts. To talk more about the car, I got it from a man in Tyler, Texas, which is about five hours from where I live. And he only put around a thousand miles on it every year. And he always kept it in the garage and it was never driven in the rain. So if y'all want us to make a video on how we got the car, it is kind of an interesting story. Uh, leave a like on this video. If we get 50 likes, we'll go ahead and drop that video. I'm gonna go ahead and move the car out of the garage to have a little bit more room in here so we can talk about the parts. Man, exhaust sounds good. I think right now it's just a muffler delete, if I'm not mistaken. So before I talk about the parts, I'm going to talk about what's on the car right now. For the wheels, I have 17 by 10 and a half AFS Mach 1 replicas in the back so I can fit a wider tire. And I have the stock wheel and tire set up in the front. I had a question about that the other day. Stock wheel and tire set up in the front where the AFS replicas or AFS Mach 1 replicas in the back. It has a JLT cold air intake as well as custom Mach 1 coil covers. We decided to upgrade the stock exhaust and the overall look underneath the car by adding a boiler attack cat back and a one piece aluminum drive shaft. Yeah, so right now it's just the stuff we had on the car. It's pretty basic stuff, you know, one piece. The car came with the one piece already. Boiler attacks. And this was our first run at the track. Um, you know, street tires. Spinning. Forgot what we ran. It's like a high 13, yeah. Now, let's take out the parts. It's the only time I'm in the video. So, the main part of this build is going to be an aggressive set of cams. And you're going to need some supporting mods to get the most power out of this cam. The first thing you're going to need is more air. I already have a cold air intake on the car, so I decided to pair it with a twin 60mm throttle body from HackyFab. And since there's going to be more air coming in, we're going to need more air to escape. Little slight That's American muscle shot right the there. Cooks long two petters and cat and mid pipe. The reason why I went with the cat and mid pipe and not an off road mid pipe was because I didn't want my car to sound too loud or obnoxious like some other cars. That's another thing uh, I got a comment the other day. When are you going to get an off road X pipe? No, we're not getting an off road X pipe. It's too loud, too obnoxious. You know, we have neighbors, we don't want to be jerks, so. Keep everything as quiet as we can, but with the most performance. And yeah, you could say, take off the cats, that's the most performance, but like I said, we wanna, we don't wanna be jerks in the neighborhood. Uh, Ryan, my fucking ears! The second thing you're gonna need is a larger set of injectors. The stock Mach 1 injector size is 24 pounds, so I decided to upgrade to a set of 39 pound injectors, which is the same injector used on the L304 Cobra. And that's a good, good jump. In uh, injector size, what I would recommend though is just going 47 pound injector for the future because you have so many options. You know, you're still getting enough fuel for the cam, maybe a little bit more, it might be a little excessive, but you can go E85. You can have that choice. You have to be careful when choosing an injector size. If the injector size is too big, then it'll flood the car with fuel, but if it's too small, it won't get enough fuel, which hurts power. The third thing I'm adding is upgraded drivetrain components, power, which yeah. will complement the cams nicely. I'm going with Ford Racing 373 gears, which will make the car accelerate faster. 
as well as a stage two clutch from Exidy and a lightweight flywheel. Yeah, those lightweight flywheels, man, very underrated. If you're ever changing out something, if you're ever changing out your clutch, um, really consider changing out your flywheel as well. The main part of this build is a set of comp cams. This cam specifically is one of the most aggressive cams you can buy from comp cams for naturally aspirated applications. Since this is such an aggressive cam, it is required to upgrade your springs and retainers. So that's why we went with a set of comp cams beehive springs, as well as steel retainers, which are still coming in the mail. Some notable parts we are also installing include a 90 millimeter mass airflow sensor, a set of Steeda underdrive pulleys, and a rear differential. Yeah, talk cover. about that mass airflow sensor. We actually had to use the stock one for tuning because for some reason it wasn't reading the correct way. So just keep that in mind. Whenever you're tuning these older cars, the stock parts sometimes are the better parts. And I'm not talking about performance parts. I'm just saying little things like that. How's it going? I'm Ryan, president of EG Performance. The Mach 1 is in the shop right now getting the worked the on. And I know everybody's waiting to see how the Mach 1 turns out. We are going to be making a follow-up video, seeing the before and after transformation, as well as exhaust idle, flybys, and a full walk around of the car. The car should be a completely different animal by the time we get it back. That's so you true. don't want to miss out on the second video. If you're not already following us on Instagram, if y'all aren't following on follow Instagram, us, we got a lot of great check out our Instagram. That we're pushing out. Try to post don't forget to almost subscribe. every other day. And that was our first video. This was around maybe like 50 subscribers, and now we're at 730 subscribers. So just wanted to make sure everybody's seen this video. It's a very good video. I know I get a lot of questions every day asking. If y'all just go back and watch these videos, all your questions will be answered. But of course, I don't mind answering them today. I'd say we've grown a lot from this. The videos are still kind of styled the same way, but the editing and the way that we were talking, it's a whole lot better. You know, now we're one of the only Mach 1 channels on YouTube. So if y'all like Mach 1s, go ahead and subscribe. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video, like the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.